I'm going to try to do what I call multitasking. <clears throat> I'm breaking while watching a break. <laughs> I got <laughs> I got Kaz's break up over here on the side. Breaking best while watching a best break. How about that? That's what I call multitasking. Unless the bandwidth usage interferes with our break, then I'm turning it off. <laughs> We're going to wait a few more minutes. I'm a little early, um, but tagged everybody, so by will jump in shortly. Appreciate y'all filling this up. And then Chad will be breaking helmets, or excuse me, the helmets, yeah, helmets later on after this. So thank you guys for filling up that one as well. Somebody throw me something out in the chat just so I know it's working. There we go. What's up, Rick? Ready for some fire. I'm going to turn this break off. I'm afraid it's going to distract me. Ready, set. There's no telling what device my daughter is on to. Oh no, is it past his bedtime? My daughter started back to school today for the first time since the Christmas break. So yeah, I had to run to Lowe's and Home Depot <laughs> and pick up some paint samples. So that sounds... <laughs> like a typical Wednesday night for everybody. Uh, you'll have to replay it for him tomorrow and tell him pretend it's live. You know, Chad's the one dropping midnight breaks. I'm asleep when all those go down. I don't even get to see those. Well, we'll make sure to do some on the weekend during the day and stuff. When he doesn't have ball that we can uh, he can watch and interact with us. Sometimes Reed will pop in, but since school year, in the summer he popped in a lot. He hasn't been popping in as much during the school year. All right, it's 9 o'clock. I tagged everybody. We're going to get started. Um, full case, PYT number three. Thank you guys very much for filling it up. We do have a couple more of these we picked up so before the price shot up too bad, so... Keep an eye out. We'll try to do some more in the near future. I think we may do a little baseball mixer next. We've compiled some pretty nice loose boxes, so we may try to put something fun together with that. Just mix it up a little bit. 
Well, that's true. Ten years old. That's right. It's ten Eastern. So yeah, ten for for Harrison too. All right, there are eight boxes. It's funny we got a couple guys in Germany and a guy in France that breaks with us. And you know, they like us to do them early in the day because they're so far ahead of us. They're middle of the night over there. So when we do them at this time, it's bad for them too. They'd like us to break it like eight to ten in the morning. <laughs> Some folks in Taiwan, and I think they're almost 12 hours ahead of us, if I remember right. So they're in the future, basically. All right, away we go. We do have one of these up on eBay for Sunday night player break style. So if y'all like player breaks, check that out. If there's just a particular player you want to chase. Nice. Yeah, I saw you won the filler. It's awesome. Yeah, Chad better come through for you then. Yeah, Chad said he was mad at me for moving to back due, so I think I made a lot of people mad tonight, except for my wife. I made her happy, so, you know, happy wife, happy life. First auto right out of the gate is a good one. Heston Kierstad, refractor auto. Going to the Orioles. That's a way to start off the case. We can't hit them in draft for some reason, but here we go in best. Very nice start. I think that was one of yours, wasn't it, Bob? Or Rick, can't remember. In fact, let me pull up my list. Give me one sec. I should have done the list before we started, but... Either way, that is a great start. Going to William or Rick. I guess you go by Rick. We're going to call you Rick. Tigers, that's right. I had you mixed up. There you go, Rick. Very good. All right, let's see if we can find a Torkelson for Bob then. Refactor Bogarts. There's a Torkelson base. Dustin May. Uh, I'm going to call that International. Atomic Jordan Yamamoto rookie to the Marlins. I think the Marlins are going to be surprisingly good next year. I mean, they were surprisingly good this year, minus their COVID outbreak. Funny feeling about them next year. There's a Torkelson franchise favorite. Very cool insert. Power Producers Harper, our next auto. Short Yamamoto. Let's keep that y'all. He was the first car of the box. He was the Atomic, and he's won the auto. They really do. They're every, I mean, since 2015, they've been one of my favorite products. It's consistent, it's a good bang for the buck. Considering you get four autos, we got a blue Austin Meadows, number to 150. Perfect timing there, Kyle. You know, even though the price has kind of shot up this year, I think mainly because there's not much coming out the next month. It's still cheaper than draft, and you get four autos. Mr. Kai Boom. Those cars do not like refractor vein. Pedro and a Gavin Lux refractor rookie. I got a little stack over here at the side of stuff I'm gonna sleeve up. But I'll save those for later. Right, 
I've been chasing a Jordan Alvarez auto in a few breaks and I've had no luck. The first few cases I watched when it came out, there was like every case. And then, of course, now I have them. Next up, Justin Lang auto. Base auto going to the Padres. Also, we've got some Stadium Club Chrome up tomorrow night on eBay Team Break. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but I broke we broke it for the first time last week. That stuff is really sharp. Dylan Cease rookie to the White Sox number to 250. Purple. I'm a big fan of Stadium Club Chrome. I wish they would just do Stadium Club Chrome and not do both, but cards look good. That is Jared Kalinick. This is Luis Robert rookie. This is Zach Veen franchise favorites. Kyle Lewis refractor rookie. Tell you what, Lewis is a guy that does not get enough love considering he won the rookie of the year. Power producer Yellick and our next auto, Nick Solak. Base auto to the Rangers. I'm pretty much caught up on shipping, so these should go out pretty quick. Draft uh, <laughs> can slow you down. Yeah, I like Kalinic a lot too. Here's Stad Refractor. Here is Stad. Cunha. Uh, who's that? Brendan Rogers. York Refractor. Tatis. Uh, Nick Gonzalez, franchise favorite, and a Starling Marte. Refractor. One down. Long way to go. Which they would do, I mean, to me, this is basically Bowman Finest, right? It's pretty much the same concept. I wish Finest had four autos instead of one per mini. And that, of course, they would two, that would make Finest so much better. Side. Much easier from the bottom than I forgot I had a cut the bottom. So, there's Chad. A lot of pressure. Um, so, Matthew, do you give Harrison a recap in the morning or do you make him wait and <laughs> watch it? <laughs> yeah, we, we are due for a big brave. I think Acuna's got all those. We need Acuna tonight. Everson Pereira, these autos are sneaking up on me. To the Yankees. Auto. Behind that, how about a Lou Bob refractor? I had to go on the internet and buy me a Lou Bob Atomic. I love the Atomics. Gavin Lux International. Uh, Royce Lewis. DeGrom refractor. Kyle Lewis rookie. Is that Bryce Jarvis, Kirstad Vase, Power Producer Juan Soto, and Brian Riddles to the Pirate. That's a gold number, or excuse me, that's a green 13 of 99. 13 of 99. Awesome. And <laughs> yeah, my daughter was a little tough to get up this morning after being off for so long. Shadow Refractor. Purple Matt Chapman to 250. We need a Super Fractor is what we need. Uh, 
Poussin, or Poussin, Bono Refractor, Casey Mize, uh, Patrick Bailey, and a Rizzo Refractor. Yeah, it is moving slow, but we've thrown a lot out in the last 24 hours between best and two helmet breaks. It'll fill. Give everybody some time to recoup. That's the bad, only only negative about the memorabilia break. I love them, but they are high risk, high reward. That was a sweet color. And you, you know, when they were playing that, Haskins was probably a starting quarterback, so not out of the NFL, so that one kind of stinks. Patrick Bailey, our auto. Andres Munoz, refractor auto. Also to the fathers, the Padres. On that Boba Shet Refractor rookie. I do like those 8x10 photos. Those are fun. Even the stuff like the jockeys and stuff we've hit before, those are pretty cool. Boba Shet Blue Refractor. And the Atomic Miguel Cabrera right behind us. Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer in Miguel Cabrera. Blue Bachette, number to 150. It is 71 of 150. Miggy. I forgot, I was looking for a Miggy rookie card, and then I realized, I didn't realize I had one. I was going through the box. Oh, crap. It's not a good time to buy with the market doing well, but I'm trying to bump up my... Uh, Graded Hall of Fame rookies. Nico Horner rookie. Jesus Lazaro franchise favorite. Detmer's refractor. Hassel. Rodriguez, Mike Trout power producer. And well, if one Brian Reynolds wasn't enough, how about a second Brian Reynolds? This one is a base. I think we've hit many pirates and then we hit two in the same box. Ed Howard, Vaughn, Adley Rushman. Man, those the camera hates those things. Joey Bart Refractor. Andrew Vaughn and Dustin May Rookie Refractor. Chad and I have made our made a pack that we wouldn't get into each other's random breaks, just you know, it doesn't it wouldn't look good if one of us got a big team and hit a big card, so I would go help out on that one, but we've decided that would look bad. Now that we're, he's added to the admin group and breaking with us, <laughs> we might be getting each other's fillers or each other's ravens. That's just a, a no no. But I wish I could. I wish um, somebody else would do some, some of the multi sport stuff. I wish. I wonder if there's anybody doing an all-baseball jersey product. That would be fun. We did the batting helmets. Those are pretty good. I'll have to find an all-baseball. Maybe Gold Rush does. I'll have to check into that. An all-baseball jersey. Autographed jersey product would be fun to me. I think Leaf does an all baseball, but I could be wrong. I need a new mark. Alright, got some Atomic behind Manny and Austin. How about an Atomic Reed Detmers? And our auto, man, Pirates are all over this case. Reed Detmers Atomic. And then a Melisinski. Carmen Mladzinski, 
base auto. We had the pirates tonight. Pirates. Emily. Emily's crushing so far. Need that Nick Gonzalez and we'd be in real good shape with pirates. Bobby Ovitt. Eddie Rosario Atomic. Julio Rodriguez Refractor. Kino Rookie. Juan Soto. His rookies have shot back up. Verlander. So Meyer rookie. There's a Luis Robert power producer. We got a rookie auto of Bruce Dart for Adderall. Refractor going to the Dodgers. Yarn and Kaz's group. I had Kaz's breakup <laughs> on my phone at the same time, and I thought I better turn that off. It's gonna be distracting. Boba Shet rookie trying to watch both. Uh, Alec Baum. Dropped a bomb on me, baby. Austin Hendrick and our Trey Man Senior Refractor Artis beat his cancer. Oops, and we'll be back next year, hopefully. They aren't quiet on me. I need to pull some aside and say, y'all. Throw something in the chat. Gotta hit Rick something. Starling Monte. There is a nice one. Go to the Royals. Bobby Witt Jr. Number to 150. That one will play. That was Mr. Rick, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. That's a pretty card. That blue looks good in the background with that Royal Uni. And the blue ink. Number two, 150. That's 74 of 150 to be here, right? Very nice. Nice. Eddie Rosario Refractor. International Lizardo. That one's a tad bit off centered. <laughs> Casey Myers. Riley Green. Power Producers Vlad Jr. And a Casey Schmidt auto to the Giants. Casey got a big old auto. Made sure and fill up all that white space and decide to go off the card. Dylan Cease Refractor. Jose Altuve, just a base refractor, but it looks gold. Uh, who is that? Oh, uh, Nick Solak. He's a Lacey refractor. Lux rookie, Puck rookie. Bobby Witt and Robert Hassel refractor. And then five to go. Probably do the break tomorrow night here unless I go to Stevens Land. Do it, um, and then uh, Paul will probably most likely break um, Bones best on Sunday. We do have a little racing breakup Friday now. We have six boxes are certified. We had six loose boxes we've had forever, so I thought I'd have to up a little bit. If y'all have not been racing with us and you have any interest at all, I highly recommend it. Racing is by far the best product line Panini does, in my opinion. 
Now, 1675, most of the autos are stickers, but after 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, they pretty much went all on cars with all racing autos, which is nice. Bailey, uh, that's a base auto going to the Giants and the filler team. I think John won those. It's been Pirates and Giant Heavy so far. But we are not quite halfway. Nick York. Or Yorkie, I've heard him called. Brendan McKay, International. We've had a lot of those tonight. Boba Shet. Uh, York again. Power producers of Bellinger and man, ten of fifty gold. Mitch Keller. All right, Emily, you gotta share the love. <laughs> Emily and her pirates are what four in so far. Gold. Ten of fifty. Mitch Keller. Yeah, he's been a lot of parts. You're talking about Patrick Bailey's tiny little signature? Yeah, it, I feel like if I was um, purple, there's a nice one. Fernando Tatis. Have you seen what his, not his autos, but just his base chrome, first chromes, PSA 10s are like $900, $800, $900. It's insane. I thought somebody was kidding. And I looked him up and I'm like, hmm, holy crap. I was expecting big things out of Tatis this year. It's an upside down. Cabrian Hayes, also Pirates. Yeah, I hate that. The initials, you see that a lot in football and basketball. I will say baseball of the major sports has probably the best signatures. Um, go back to racing. Racing guys put in some effort for the most part. Yeah, the initials. Yeah, everything but Nick Gonzalez so far. I don't know. I feel like if I was blessed enough to be a major leaguer, I would have some pride in the way I signed the name. But, you know, I try to give them the benefit of the doubt because I know they signed 8 billion cards, but still. Alright. No offense to Emily, but we don't need any more pirates here for a second. Forrest Whitley. Nolan Gorman. Kierstad Refractor. All right here. No. Nope. Otani. This pack's a little different. Gavin Lux. Kyle Lewis Refractor Rookie. There's a Nick Gonzalez. Torkelson. I must have this one backwards. Power Producers and... JT Remuto, that is a blue, 73 of 150. Phillies. Oh, that action. New team, at least. Good ball player. Right? I mean, that's the way I think about it, too. But I have never had the privilege to sign autographs for money. So maybe, maybe I'd feel different if I was signing. Max Meyer. Bryant Refractor, Torque, there's a Blue Anderson, in a, uh, Tim, not Ian Anderson, Tim Anderson, 45 of 150, and an Atomic Aquino rookie behind it, trying not to give away the auto, Blue Timmy Anderson, got to see him play in Birmingham, Atomic Aristides Aquino rookie, Tonics are my favorite. They don't pop quite as much this year as some years, but I was going back through some of my PC and I got I kind of like the Atomic Rookie, so I picked up a Robert. It should be on the way. Mancini, Harper, Freddie Freeman, and our auto. There he is. There go, Kevin. Or excuse me, Kyle. Max Meyer auto. Uh, 
asking you shower seat you. <laughs> Fluke fan. <laughs> Anchorman. <laughs> what jazz flute? <laughs> you play the jazz flute. That's right. Might as well ask. It's funny how that works out. We say that all the time. It, it's so weird. Like people, I just popped in. Have been any pirates yet? Bang! There's a pirate or you see a Domingo. Bang! There's a Domingo. It's weird how that happens. I haven't seen it. I haven't pulled color, I mean, a parallel of any of them yet. The, all the ones we've pulled so far this year have been base. Cubs. No big Cubs yet. There's been some Bryant Refractor, Mika Horner Rookie, um, but no autos or anything yet. <laughs> Here, have there been any Cubs? I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. That's a guy we have not pulled yet out of best this year. It was an Ed Howard rookie or or draft for that matter. We haven't pulled the first Howard auto, so we're certainly due. He has been a hard rest to pull for whatever reason. Bubba Shet rookie. Nick York to the Red Sox. That's a team we usually hit a lot of in this. I think Sean had the Red Sox. Sean is a big Bo Sox fan. I mean, we've hit a lot more Dominguez so far than we've hit. Obviously, zero hours. We've hit Dominguez in several times. Let's see if we can keep up that streak. Mackenzie Gore, purple. Number to 250. I really like that, which I guess is the prospects. I really like that design. The color on that design pops because there's so much of it. Yeah, they really have been team heavy. There's some teams though, that have a pretty massive checklist that that doesn't help. Like the Phillies, I think, just have the one auto and we hit that one. Nico Horner. Nick Gonzalez, power producer, and Justin Fosky, refractor auto to the range. I noticed that in a lot of Panini products this year. Football, in some cases, can be so team heavy. I wish there was a better way for them to work on collation. Luis Robert, rookie. Who's that? JJ Blade. Mike Trout. Cal Ripken and Crochet. We haven't pulled a Trout Auto. I know Chad, I think he's had him in every break. He's due. Yeah, A's have been really heavy in some of the cases I've seen. Eight, eight seems a little too crazy, but it, I remember the most one-sided break I was ever in and personally benefited from. There was, I was in a case break of uh, with Bowman Chrome HTA, but I don't remember what year it was. And I had the reds, and I must have hit, uh, what is that, 3, 12, 36 dollars. I probably hit 8. About the same. I hit about 8 reds dollars. Two, two songs uh, isn't a bad deal. Alright, let's see how this box ends. Got a refractor auto behind Miggy. There's a nice one. Blue. Andrew Vaughn to the White Sox, 75 of 150. First time we pulled him out of this, too. That'll be going to Josh. There's usually one per case, right? So we still haven't hit that yet. Those insert autos are sharp. That Atomic Alvarez we pulled out of our very first case was pretty pretty. There's so many good prospects right now. I was talking to somebody today about, I mean, I'm only 
45. So, Atomic Wonder Franco, that'll play. Oh, I've been watching baseball. But I feel like I'm a pretty knowledgeable historian of baseball. I feel like there is as about as much young talent in or about to be in the major leagues that I can ever recall. And so much talent. Pitching, hitting, it's real balanced too. It's not like a dominant pitcher's era or a dominant hitter's era. I mean, I guess you could lean hitter's era, but Nico Horner Refractor with you. Power Producers Alonzo. <laughs> Patrick Tiny Auto Bailey again. You couldn't even get that one two letters without smudging it. So much talent. But I was I was just talking to somebody the other day. I mean, we're watching Mike Trout, arguably one of the best all around players ever already. And then just every team seems to have a, almost have a superstar. And Howard Factor. And I know in the end, knowing Gorman, that may not be how it all we remember them all, but right now it just seems like they are. Kirstad and Yellick seems loaded. We've had a lot of cases with the Red Sox. Tonight they haven't been as heavy. But we know that everybody that every rookie that everybody's high on or hyped on is not gonna pan out. I mean, what do you have? One, two, three, maybe Hall of Famers in the rookie class. So you know, the Tontises and Greg Blagger, not every one of these guys is gonna end up a Hall of Famer. But it just seems like to me there's a lot of talent. Yeah, I agree. It does seem cool again. Yeah. Which, when I was a kid growing up, that was the coolest thing to do play baseball. And I do think it helps that some of this young talent is, has big personalities that can draw people to the game. I mean, I'm not a fan of like the Bryce Harpers of the world, but Tatis. Cunha, to a certain degree, bring a lot of excitement. I could do without some of Cunha's antics, but... <laughs> Nothing wrong with Yamamoto. Paul is actually very high on Yamamoto. Speaking of Bryce Harper, there he is, Yamamoto. Tatis, Nolan Gorman, we've seen a lot of him tonight. Oh, thought that was normal. That's right. This is the backward pack. Purple, Albert Azalea. There's a cub, number to 250. I probably got a crap ton of Kevin Moss rookies somewhere from when I was a kid that I thought were going to pay my way through college. <laughs> Posted a picture today. It was Kevin Moss. There was somebody else from that, like, 90 class. And I was like, man, remember how hot those cards were. Brian Taylor. I mean, it seems like a lot of Yankees prospects are hot and then end up being hot poo. Spencer Torkelson and there's an A. We were just talking about them. Sean Murphy. In fact, a player I really like, Sean Murphy. Kevin Moss. Jerome Walton. How about Jerome Walton? This stuff was hotter than Griffey's, it seemed like at one time. Nick Gonzalez Refractor. It seems like people go all in on Yankees prospects, and when they... What is that? Looks weird. Well, it was just that edge. It looked funny. Yoshi International. Lindor Atomic. Another Yamamoto. This one a Refractor. Kevin Moss, A.L. Alvis Van Poppel, although Chipper was really the, he was the first pick, Van Poppel went second, I've always been happy the Braves didn't take Van Poppel because apparently they considered it upside down, Fat Albert, Luis Robert rookie, and a blue going back to the Royals with another blue to 150, Ben Hernandez. Ben McDonald. 
he went to LSU, I remember that. Yeah, I think burning out or busting on some of those pitchers is one reason people kind of shy away from pitching prospects these days. They're just so hard to hit on. Seems like hitters are more predictable. Remember that Brian Taylor card? He was in one of those stadium club sets, like that look all star type sets that look like uh, I think it was San Diego. No, stadium. People were all after that Brian Taylor card. So my dad and I used to do card. You know, my dad, I just helped him did card shows almost every weekend through the like early '90s through mid '90s. And so I was really uh used to memorize the Beckett. I can tell you the price of just like any card. You can just ask me. I used to read Beckett religiously. In the good old days. Hancock, Bellinger, Cabrian Hayes. We haven't had any of these reverse ones of those yet either. Eddie Rosario Refractor, Bellinger, and there's a new team. Avon Herrera to the Cardinals. monster autos other than our our very first one was probably our best one so far. York. Something that was not a shit. Another refractor auto. Wow. Well the pirates have run the game at 34 of 50 gold Nick Gonzalez. Well as I always like to say, every break has a winners and losers. And in this case, Emily and the Pirates are definitely a winner. Gold. Nick Gonzalez, 34 of 50. They did hit for the cycle. I think they hit the entire checklist. Forrest Whitley Refractor. So you were right on, Rick. Team heavy, <laughs> to say the least. Two to go. We haven't had any of the reverse inserts, and we haven't had an insert auto yet. Maybe these last two boxes will be a doozy. Ah. Threw me off a lot when I, the first case we opened it, and they didn't have the shrink wrapped. Yeah, just one Yankee so far. But we got what? That's the good thing about this. We got eight autos left. One reason I think it's a great break product. You know, some products are just good for breaks. This is one of them. Like Chronicles Baseball, I think is a good one. Draft, honestly, is probably not. It's probably one of the most boring break products, but it just has a big following. It's also um, not fun to sort, but this one I can sort and pack in my sleep. Nice Robert Auto. We haven't pulled a Robert Auto yet either. I got lucky and hit one the other night in Chad's break. Hey, there we go. There's our first uh, color swap or negative Ramon Laureano to the A's. And then I gave away our next auto, which is a team that has been on fire, which is John's filler team. The one, not the only, giant, Logan Webb. Yeah, I'm with you, Chad. I've had the Reds in probably four breaks so far, and I have not hit a Hendrick auto yet. Reds are tough. So Torkelson Refractor. 
Hey, that's nice. We hit a blue Hendrick out of the last draft case for uh, Kaz. There you go. How about a purple Mike Trout and a Jorge Soler Atomic right behind it? Trout is 165 of 250. Anything that Mike Trout and number is good. Okay. I do hate redemption, so don't blame me there. Wanderer. He's the Wanderer. Josh Jung. Alright, there's a Dominguez power producer. We got it's like an insert auto coming up behind it. On camera, Jesus Lazardo. Somebody talked about the A's and now they're showing up. 27 of 250. Franchise favorite. That's something I've got to do here soon. Is list a few things for sale on eBay or. Yeah, you talked them up, Rick, and now they're doing We have a, oh, my next card show I'm doing is not till, there's an Alvarez, is not till uh, February, I think. Hello, friend. Getting ready for bed? Yeah. Yeah, one more box. I can move you on this time. I'm expecting one big auto. And then I hope we have another insert auto. One of the backups. Probably in that box. Since this box has an insert auto. Or an atomic. We haven't hit. I think in. This is three. Our fourth case of this one. We've only hit one atomic auto so far. Yep. I think we are. I think Steven and I are going to drive out there and meet Corey Durham and. Stephen Caswell, and then Paul may come with us, but Stephen and I for sure, pretty sure we're going to drive out there this time. I've already booked a room. We're doing Atomic. Could that have ink on it? That's an insert. No, the auto's behind it. How about a Brendan McKay Atomic? That's pretty sharp. Auto. There's another Yankee. Austin Wells Refractor. I know Jose in the group is... It's high on Mr. You going out there, Mark? I think we're going to be out. There's a big show in Houston sometime shortly after, but I think we're going to do Dallas again. That Dallas location is so nice. Hotels attached. Very nice hotel. If you do get a hotel there, um, call. They've got some special room rates that are pretty heavily discounted if you call and say you want one of the bought room for the show. Austin Wells Refractor, number 87, it's an interesting number. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, so not bad. It's about a 10 hour drive for us. I flew last time, but Steven has never flown. Kirstad and uh, a little all skeptical, so I think we're going to drive it. There's none around me either, Rick. There's some in Atlanta, which is only a couple hours away. Um, but they happen so often that I've heard they're not. I mean, if you go once, there's no reason to go every time they do it because they, they don't have a lot of turnover with inventory. But that Dallas show was pretty pretty nice. Looking forward to it again. Max Meyer, number two, going to Kyle. Doubling up. It's a good venue. It's not too crowded. I mean, it was a big crowd, but we don't have any shows in Birmingham. And before the pandemic hit, I was actually trying to plan a show for here in, in the Birmingham area. Kind of had a spot picked out. Green, Francisco Lindor to 99. That is 80 of 99. Um, woo! But then all that stuff went, pandemic went down and ruined those plans, so... As soon as everything kind of clears back up, I mean, we could have one here, but I'd rather wait till it's somewhat back to normal. I'm going to put on a show here, so y'all come see me. 
Three Kings show promotions. So Alvarez rookie, uh, Garrett Mitchell, and Patrick Bailey refractor. All right, one box to go. Dallas was good. Um, at least last time, if you like modern basketball, it was everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Um, I'm hoping this time there'll be a little more baseball. There was like very little Bowman Chrome type stuff. Um, but I'm hoping this time there'll be some more baseball out. That's the second time Corey had been to that Dallas show. First time for me. Um, then our buddies Chad and Matt over at Big Easy. I think they were going to wait. They're from Louisiana. I think they were going to wait and do the Houston show and not go to Dallas this time. But we'll have a, a good contingent there, folks. So if you do go, give me a shout. Uh, we'll meet up, grab some lunch or something. I did just break it to my wife this week that I was going <laughs> out of town. But she was alright with it. But we'll probably drive in Thursday, I'm guessing, or maybe Wednesday night late, and then come back Sunday. We didn't go to the show Sunday morning, but just for a few minutes, but Friday and Saturday were really good. Anthony Rizzo, Atomic Luis Robert, hiding an auto of, jeez, Patrick Bailey Refractor. Oh, the duplicates. That's what our third Patrick Bailey. And it's not a first. We've had other cases with triples. It's just when you got such a big auto checklist, having triplicates, having dupes is frustrating. Having triplicates is beyond frustrating. So, John Allison, congratulations on your third Patrick Bailey. Tiny initial auto. This one a refractor. All right, we need to end with a bang. We need a bang. This has been probably our weakest case yet, in my opinion. Oh, the Atomics are my absolute favorite. Nick York Green, number 96 of 99. I've got a nice little Atomic PSA graded collection going. Um, so I bought a Robert. Hopefully it'll grade well. I've got a lot of the Braves, like Cunha and... Guys like that. Comics are my favorite. Pache. Come on. Bill Bichette, rookie. King Griffey, Jr. Excuse me. Alright, we're going to flip the auto back here. The rookie. Come on, big rookie. Mike Trout, refractor. Aquino. Cunha. Josh Bell. Alright. Robert Hassel. It's a rookie. Bobby Bradley. B squared. To the Indians. First Indians auto tonight. <laughs> Watch. There's going to be a Hendrick auto in this last box. That's your fact that you're giving up on me. Well, if I didn't hit for you in, your, in the helmet break later, I'll put you out here. But not going to sugarcoat it. This has not been our best case. Yet. Best. <laughs> Y'all uh, be thinking about what you want next for baseball. Pretty sure we're going to do a little mixer. Now it could have some best. No. I don't think I have any loose box at best. I can get some, but we don't have any at the moment. Alright, we've got another swap. This one is Adley Rushman. There better not be another pirate. It looks yellow. To the Orioles. No, to the A's. Robert Poisson. Yep, Rick brought the A's wrath on us. We do have a little more draft left. Tell you what, those draft cases have gone through the roof. They've gone up. Over a thousand dollars in about a week's time. 
just one case up a thousand bucks a case. I don't know what, I don't know, it's weird. That and best, I don't know all of a sudden what's driving the demand, but this last week, stimulus check, I guess, I don't know. Prices have shot up. I do have some Heritage High Number cases. Um, that's almost draft-like as far as sorting, but we could do some Heritage High Number. Chase some Luis Robert autos. There's some nice autos on that checklist, just as y'all know. Heritage is not a atomic Nick York. We've got all kinds of Nick Yorks tonight. Heritage is not the most exciting break because there's very few autos. That's what I heard. And I don't know. I need somebody to do the cal. You can usually calculate it based on the print runs. I mean, based on the serial numbers and stuff. How many cards in the set? How many purples that? And then how many you get per box? Based on the odds on the pack. I haven't seen anybody calculate it. Five thousand is pretty low. I think I calculated that. Um, Top's Chrome Black was only about 3,000 cases, which is pretty low, too. But usually, what's odd is everybody's running out of best in draft, and usually I can find best in draft deals all the way into March, April, May, June. Yeah, that doesn't help either. There's a lot of new people. Um, I mean, it's good for, the, for us and good for single sales, but it's not good for being able to find products. There's a Robert Hassel. Max Meyer Refractor. There's positives and negatives. Uh oh, we got a redemption. Hmm. I'm going to set that right there. We're going to end on a redemption. Hendrick Refractor. Jason Dominguez. Okay, and. You're right, there's a lot of new people. And I've noticed on eBay, we have some pretty good regulars on eBay. I was thinking Gorman too. Let's hope it's somebody different. Um, slide this. Um, I've seen a lot of new faces in our breaks on eBay. Congratulations. You're due to receive. Best of 2020 auto, so it's just a base auto. Let's hope we had an insert auto of Nolan Gorman. Rick has watched enough to know who to pick. Hendrix. Yeah, I guess I know Hendrix is in a redemption and draft. We haven't pulled him in this yet. So to the Cardinals. I think Jeff had his Cardinals tonight. Well, like I said, not our best case. Um, a few nice ones, but nothing spectacular. Let's do a recap. Yeah, I think we pulled, in our very first case, we had three Nolan Gormans, and a couple of them were actually live. At least one of them was live. All right, let's look at Atomics. Atomics, we had Nick York, Luis Robert, uh, Brennan McKay, Jorge Soler. We also had a, I had two of these, there. oh, there it is. We had two of these. Color swaps, negatives, what do you call them? Rushman and Loriano. What up, Holmes? Hopefully your case was better than ours. Lindor, Franco, you're just in time for the recap. Aquino, Rosario, we we're just talking about you in Dallas too. Detmers, Mark over here in the chat thinking about meeting us in Dallas. Miguel Cabrera and Jordan Yamamoto. If you don't know Kaz, he was the break I had up on my phone earlier. <laughs> Before I decided that might be too distracting. Color. We had Nick York to 99. Last I talked to Chad, he said he wasn't sure. But they may wait and go to Dow, I mean uh, Houston. Francisco Lindor to 99. Mike Trout to 250. Azalea to 250. Gore to 250. Anderson to 150. Tatis to 250, Bichette to 150. I was just about to praise my camera tonight. Chapman to 250, Cease to 250, and Austin Meadows to 150. Wait, what? I said Chad. Mark's going. Mark right there. And then Chad Clement, last time I talked to him, he said they may wait 
there's a big Houston show, which is a little closer to them, and do that. All right, autographs. No particular order. We had, it was the Pirate Show tonight. St. Louis Cardinals, Nolan Gorman, Redemption, base. Poisson, base. Bradley, better refractor, Patrick Bailey. We'll see him several more times. Max Meyer, base. Uh, Austin Wells, refractor. Jesus Lazardo, franchise favorites, 2 250. Logan Webb, base. Nick Gonzalez, gold, 34 50. That one wasn't bad. Yvonne Herrera, base. Ben Hernandez, blue to 150. Sean Murphy, base. Now I think about it, it wasn't quite as bad as I made it out to be. Patrick Bailey, number two. Um, Andrew Vaughn to 150. Justin Foskey, refractor. Nick York, base. Max Meyer, base number two. JT Remuto, number to 150, blue. Mitch Keller, gold. Pirates got two gold autos, 10 of 50. Patrick Bailey, number three. The tiniest auto of all time. The biggest auto of all time, Casey Schmidt, all such of the Giants. Yeah, it's actually now that I'll go back to the hit recaps, a little better than I, I made it out to be. So I was a little bit of downer. There's a nice one for Rick. Bobby Witt, number to 150. Gratterall Refractor Auto. It was really good if you had the Pirates or the Giants. But the names uh, were a little better than I led on, was led to believe when I, based on my memory. We had Mozinski, Brian Reynolds, Bates, Andres Munoz, Refractor, Sprinkles, that's right. Sprinkles are good. 13 of 99, Brian Reynolds, Pereira, Solak, Lang, Yamamoto, and Heston Kierstad, Refractor. Yep, you did okay. Yankees, we could have found you a better Yankee auto, but not bad. Thank you so much, Angelo. Um, be on the lookout. Uh, I may put up another poll um, to see what you guys want next. may take another week or so break from draft just because my hands are sore from sorting. Or I'll make Paul do the next one. <laughs> He's due. I've done every once. So we've done what? Uh, one, four cases or five cases? He may have to do the next one. Um, but as always, gentlemen and ladies, Emily, thank you very, very much for bringing with us. Hope y'all have a great night. Y'all stay safe, and we will catch you next time. Thanks.